What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today, bringing you guys another episode of the Madden 15 Wishlist on this channel. And this is the series where I give you guys some recommendations that I have for Madden 15. Hopefully, it eventually gets over to the guys at EA. I'm not expecting much out of it, but if somehow something gets to them and uh, they're able to implement it into the game, I think that a lot of these suggestions that I'm making would be good to improve the game. Now, what we're actually going to be talking about today are ways to improve packs in Madden 15. So Madden 25 overall, I think that they did a pretty good job with most of the packs in Madden 25. Uh, there were some improvements from what happened, in, obviously, in uh, Madden 13. But I think when we're actually going into the new game, there are some things that I would like to see implemented that were not currently implemented in the, the current edition of Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So, getting things started, I want to start off, actually, with one of the most common things that I see in the comments section of my Madden 15 wishlist videos. And that's actually the ability to buy bundles with coins. So this is something that, for some reason, they actually removed out of Madden 25 Ultimate Team. It was actually in Madden 13, uh, from what I understand. Unfortunately, I did not play Madden 13, so I cannot verify that. But I believe that it, they were able to be purchased, uh, bundles were able to be purchased with coins in Madden 13. Not in Madden 25, though. And I think one of the big reasons for that, of course, was that you know EA knew that they could make money by having people only be able to buy bundles with real money. So it's kind of unfortunate because although I understand where they're coming from and they want to be able to make money with this new game mode, I, I completely understand for the, for the company purposes, it makes all the sense in the world. But from your average user, it really makes coins less valuable overall. And it really makes it so that doing things like solo challenges, it just doesn't give you that same reward. Now granted, yes, we can go in and we can buy 10 pro packs with coins for 75,000 coins. But it's not the same thing because you get those bundle toppers when you do it with money. And it's kind of frustrating because as someone like me who has actually never put money into this game yet, and I'm not planning to by the way, at least at this point that would be kind of ridiculous for me to put money into the game. But for people like me who don't put any money into the game, it's really frustrating because I see my friends and they're pulling packs and packs and packs with money and they're pulling bundles, and they're getting these amazing toppers, and I never have even the chance to get that, all because I don't want to put actual money into the game, despite the fact that I spent probably twice as much time doing solo challenges mo as most of them. So it's kind of irritating, and it's definitely something that I know other people have uh, the gripe of, and they really want to see it get changed. So I hope that Madden will go ahead and implement at least the ability to purchase bundles with coins again, even if it's more expensive with coins. I, I, w I think people would probably be okay with that. Um, you know, if we can buy a 10-pack bundle for you know 80,000 coins, but we get that topper, maybe that might be worth it. So. Let me know what you guys think. I think that that's one thing that absolutely needs to be implemented. I mean, like I said, people leave that in every single one of the comments sections of these videos. Number two, we need the ability to purchase these premium packs at some point. You know, or at all points in time, I should say. It's most of the weeks, uh, or most of the week, you're not actually able to purchase like the premium packs or the legend packs or um, you know all these other different gimmick packs that they had. When I say gimmick packs, I mean like the ability to have like the, the extra odds, the all pro packs, things like that. It, you just don't have that access all week, and I don't understand it. To me, there sh there should always be the ability to buy at least one of those, something higher than just the standard pro pack, because most of the pro packs pull are pretty much crap, unfortunately, but it would be a lot more fun if we could spend 25,000 coins and get an all pro pack at all points in time. It would be really nice, and I understand you want to limit like the legend packs and the, um, the, you know, the other ones that they might put out. I get it. Maybe we limit those to, you know, once a month or something that they're available, or they're only available on weekends or something like that, but at least leave the pro packs available and something like the all pro packs that are a little more expensive, but maybe not quite the 56,000 coins that the uh, legend packs are. Or, you know, if we're talking about dollars, of course, that's, you know, they're exponentially more expensive as you go up as well. 
So, to me, I think that they should always be available. There doesn't really seem to be a reason that they're not available. I mean, obviously, you create, like, a little bit of extra buzz if they're available only on the weekends. But at the same time, though, you're losing out throughout the entire week on people that could be buying them to improve their teams. And that's not happening, of course. So, to me, we need to implement having it so that you can uh, buy those premium packs at any point in time during the week, any time, doesn't really matter when, at least the ability to have some sort of thing higher than the standard Pro Packs. Number three, no limits on the higher-end packs. I don't understand why they implemented limits on higher-end packs. When they were doing, like, these the draft packs and things like that, there were a limit on those. The legend packs, there's usually, like, a limit to three or something. Why? Why? Why would you limit yourself? I don't understand. If you're EA, and there's people out there, like my friend Mikey Sweats, who would probably spend a million coins opening up legend packs, but instead he can only open three of them. Are you kidding me? Are, I mean, seriously, are you kidding me? Why can we not open up more packs? Please, EA, take our money, take our coins, let us buy stuff if we want it. We're not doing anything that doesn't benefit you. Please, allow us to, to buy these better packs and, and allow us to buy them in an unlimited number. Or at least in massively increase the number. Three is ridiculously low. I mean, I, I can't even make a video out of three. I really can't. It's it's really tough to actually make a, a legitimate video that people are entertained by with just three packs, even if it's legend packs. So please, give us the ability to buy as many as we want. And it would I think it would greatly improve uh, people's happiness with some of these packs. Number four. Odds. That's all I'm going to say. Odds. I think that uh, we really, this year, in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, we are experiencing a lot of what people would call ass packs, <laughs> where you just open it up and there is absolutely ass in most of these packs. And I understand it, it makes sense that there's going to be packs that don't really have anything of value. But when, when I'm opening up an entire pack and I get the best card that I get is like a 68 overall gold card. Come on. Seriously? I, I mean, give me something that at least I can use if I'm a new person to Madden. 68 overall or 78 overall or even like 85 overall at this point. They're not worthwhile cards. We need to be able to have at least the ability to get, you know, like a gold contract or something like that. Wouldn't that be nice at least? So that if we don't open up anything of real value that at least they throw us a bone with a silver or a gold contract. I can't tell you how many times I've opened up a pack and it's a bronze contract which is basically completely useless and a bunch of just crap that I can't use so I just throw it in my reserves or I quick sell it. It happens probably half the packs that I open that I don't get anything that I can even use. So it's really quite frustrating. I think that there was too many good cards in packs in Madden 13, at least from what I've been told. Again, I didn't play Madden 13. So they tried to reduce the number of just amazing cards that there were. But what ends up happening now is that there's just a, there's not a whole lot that are usable. It would be a lot more fun, in my opinion, if like the playoff cards and things like that, or maybe some of the fantasy cards, or or at least like some of the gold cards were a little bit more usable. And if we're gonna get like the fantasy cards and things like that, or the the playoff cards, make them more, uh, make them happen more often in packs, so that when I open up five packs, for example, that at least I get a 94 overall Terrence Newman or something like that. Who, granted, on my personal team right now, he wouldn't start. But for people who are at least getting into the game, you give them something of value that they can actually use on their team. I don't think that's asking too much. Let's increase the odds just a little, little bit to give us just a little bit more uh, quality cards in a pack. And if not, at least give us some gold contracts so that we can not have to go in and buy 50 uh, friggin' bronze card contracts at a time so that we can just fill out a roster. I mean, please, help me out. Help me out with some contracts, please, if you're going to screw me on the cards. That's all I'm asking for. Last thing. And this is one that I've been really thinking about, and usually I save the best for last, and I think that you guys might agree with me on this. I want to see more gimmick packs. 
And by that, I mean things like the BCA packs, or um, did you guys ever see the Easter egg packs? Some of you probably didn't ever even get to experience those, or at least know what they are. I mean, I think that there were only like a handful of them that were ever put out into the game. So uh, most people never actually got to see what was in one. However, if you did, they were freaking amazing. It was like a, a thing where if you pulled this, this Easter egg uh, out of a pack, it was like an insert, you basically were given a token to get this Easter egg pack. And inside the Easter egg pack was like epic cards. I mean, we're talking like probably at least hundreds of thousands of coins, if, if not like uh, I don't remember if there were gold tickets, no, obviously, if I don't think there were golden tickets in it, but, you know, there were, like, legend cards and, like, the 99 overall, like, Madden 25 cards, which at the time were going for ridiculous amounts, so you got some amazing cards in those Easter egg packs, and, like I said, hardly anybody ever even had the opportunity for them. What I would like to see is more stuff like that implemented, at least make it more often that we can at least get things uh, that are kind of cool like that. Now, granted, I'm not asking for the Easter egg pack because, uh, I mean, that was out of control. It was nuts, the stuff that you were getting in it. But how about, like, on, on uh, July 4th, on Independence Day, how about we get a red, white, and blue pack? Or something like that. So your pack, it would be an insert just like it was with the gold or with the um, um, was it the golden egg or something like that that you pulled, and you would pull like a you know a Fourth of July flag or something like that, and you could redeem that to get your uh, your Independence Day pack. And inside an Independence Day pack would be a red card, so an elite card, a white card which is a ghost card, and then a blue card which is a legend card. So it would be a small pack of only three cards, and they might not you might not get anything of amazing value, but you have that opportunity at least of getting some decent cards. And the ghost cards, they might have to increase the number of those, obviously, so that everybody's not pulling the same exact thing. But at the same time, though, I think it would be kind of cool to be able to pull, you know, I, I got a, an independence pack, I got to pull this baby open and see what I get. You know, I think that just even little things like that would increase the fun of opening packs in this game, and it would, it, you know, you could do... EA could realistically hand out a hundred of those and not have any real difference in the market. It wouldn't affect the market by that much. So, in my opinion, that would be something to see. I think that they should implement little things like that throughout the season just to make things a little bit more fun and keep packs a little bit more interesting. I would. I, I know a lot of people wanted to I, I just try out those Easter egg packs and uh, at least just get the opportunity to see what's in them. And like I said, hardly anybody ever even got to see what was in them unless for some reason you saw somebody open the video or as my dogs are going crazy, sorry about that. But, you know, unless you saw the video of people opening packs or something like that, uh, of the Easter egg pack, you probably never even got to witness it. So it kind of sucks. It would be awesome if those things were a little bit more prominent in the game and more people got to pull them. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press the like button below. And also, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see implemented in Madden 15 packs to make them better. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So again, leave those comments below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you press that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.